Hey guys, welcome to another video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue that some of you guys are experiencing on your iPhone, which is a red dot on the phone app. Now, normally, this would tell you the number of missed calls or voicemail, but it's just been a red dot on, we've seen on iOS 16.1, and that dot could be pretty much frustrating or annoying because it doesn't really tell you much. Normally, it's something like this where it tells you the number of calls or voicemail or something like that. So in this video, we're gonna go through five different ways that could potentially fix this glitch or software bug happening on your iPhone. So first thing first is why is that happening? Well, generally you get the notification when something has happened in your app for your phone app. So if you click on phone app, usually you wanna go ahead and start kind of going through all of these to kind of check where there's a dot and generally if you check that it will go away and remove that dot so it might be a missed call but when you see that dot generally it comes to be a voicemail now when it comes to voicemail you might have voicemail there so what do you want to do either listen to them fully or you can if you don't want to listen to it you can delete them so it will come up you'll just slide it over and hit delete so we don't have any here because we already cleared it but if you get a voicemail either play it and listen all the way to the end or slide it like you would on a text and it click that delete option and it'll delete it now the next thing you want to do is actually if it's still going to go ahead and check to see if it's cleared if it's not clear the next thing you will do is go ahead and call your voicemail so you're going to hit that call option once you call it's going to give you multiple option but the option you want to do is the option to change your pass word for your voicemail again this is kind of weird but it seems to fix it for some people which is calling voicemail and changing your current password to something out and then go ahead and check to see if it's gone now if you're still having the issue another thing you can do now this seems to work for some people not sure why again it's purely probably because of the software bug is call yourself from another phone from a friend or family now don't pick up when you're calling yourself on this the phone number here that you're trying to reach Instead, leave a voicemail for like say hello or something like that. Let the voicemail end and then the voicemail should show up and then what you'll do is play that voicemail, listen to it till it's end and then check to see if that icon is gone and then you also delete that voicemail again. That's a quick way to check if voicemail is being the trouble issue that you're having. Now, let's say you did all of that and because it's still showing up the issue, what's the next thing you can do? The next thing you can do is simply go into settings and this time the settings we're going to look for notifications we'll click on notification and then you'll look to find your phone app so it will be in the list of apps you can click on phone app and then what we'll do is temporarily disable this badges option we turn that off and then go ahead and check to see if that red dot on the phone app is gone now after it's gone we'll turn it back on and then check again to see if it's gone again now this is a temporary solution because normally it should be on but uh, if you turn it on and off and kind of play with to see if it removes it it might remove it when it's off and then when you turn it back on it might be on and that's because there is still a software issue which will show you a uh, next step that you can do so we'll leave it on but again turn off and on and then check it out the next thing you want to do try to fix this yourself is actually going to be doing a force restart on your phone so on iphone 8 and above you're going to press it release the volume up and then volume down and hold this big side button on the right hand side as you can see i'm holding now i'm not going to slide to power it off because that'll be a normal shut off we want to just wait till the apple logo appear while i'm holding that side button and i'm going to let go of it and that will do a force restart which simply clears any sort of minor software issues the phone's been experiencing again it's different from a normal reboot it just refreshes the phone and reloads the phone's code to make sure any issues are gone again it's going to be volume up volume down really quick and then hold that side button if for some reason siri activates that means you weren't quick enough when you're clicking those buttons but again a quick fix now the last thing you want to do is if you're still having all this issue is go into settings and this time in the setting option we're going to go ahead and go for general software update and then look for to see if there's a new update out now as you can see there's a new update out which is 16.1.1 at the time of recording which addresses some issues that 
the phone may be experiencing. Usually when you see these updates, there's bug fixes, security glitches that are um, fixed for any sort of issue, which we'll go ahead and download and install the update itself. Well, you do that, make sure you're connected to a power source and a good Wi-Fi. And hopefully after you have done that, it should hopefully fix that bug issue, which again, some reporters, some users have reported that sort of seems to fix it on the latest version, 16.1.1. One, if you're on an older version, might be experiencing that issue. So go ahead and do that. And it's always good to update your phone software. So hopefully one of these tips help you guys. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button while you're at it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.